Well, when you were 15, you get arrested for drug and firearm possession? Yes. That's a different situation. Totally different. Okay. Because this other charge is a misdemeanor. I got caught with three birds. Three guns. Three kilos. Oh, three kilos. Oh, three birds. Sorry. Three kilos and two guns. Okay. So you're already pushing kilos at 15. I the, Miami was a different beast. Right. I've seen the series that Netflix did on Griselda. Yeah. It's okay. My problem with it is there's a lot of black kids that's fatherless. There's a lot of black daddies that's doing life centers in 30 or 40 years. There's a lot of companies that was built off of niggas who I grew up with. And they're giving all the glory to everybody else. And we don't usually do, we don't usually glorify stuff like that from the past. Because those are, they might seem excited to some people, but those are tough and rough times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, it just, I just feel like a lot of the, the women, they get respect for the men after slavery was over when the black community is like the, the black man now, now he got power now, you know? It's like, all you do is have my baby. You cook for me, you clean for me. I'm going to give you the check, but you don't spend it on nothing I don't tell you to spend it on. So it made the women say, well, wait a minute. I don't need this nigga. So we get to this single, black, and independent, which is lonely, horny, and broke. You feel me? So now, there are the, these are our parents. Seven, eight grade education come out of the country, the back roads of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina, want to come to the promised land down here in Miami. Uh, and they get down here, they got the long, pretty hair, the silky skin. They dressing all wholesome. And these city slickers niggas just talk them right up out of whatever they wanted. <laughs> they end up having us. Now you got babies, having babies, raising babies. And this is where we at now. So, for that arrest with the three kilos, how much time did you get? I got four, four with two, four and two. Four years. In and two years out. Okay. But the day you get out, you get into a whole other situation. God bless the my little homie Tron, Tater, be riding. And I see Tater jump out the car. Him and the dude locked up. But now, I see the dude uncle run out the house, like run towards us. But then he said, you know what? I got something for you. And he stopped and went in his pocket. And he had, um, I never seen this mechanism. It was the first time that they had the, the, the hold the thing and the trunk pop open. He hold that bitch and the trunk pop open. I let that bitch ring at his ass. And that was the same day I got out. And I didn't realize I already violated, violated my probation. Right. You get arrested for attempted murder. With a violation. With a violation. So now you go back. But for now, another... now, the first time I go to prison, I'm at what you call a youth offenders camp. Right. Now you're an adult because you're 19 at the time. Okay, so, okay, right. So this is how it goes. Mm -hmm. You can still be in a youth offender uh, uh, camp if you are a youth when you did the crime and it, 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 it doesn't succeed over a life sentence. And plus, you under the age of 25 or younger, right? So at this particular time, I think I'm 1920. I fucked up real, real bad. I catch charges on police officers. I do all this shit. But now I'm to the point where what well, now what what like what are you gonna do? What you gonna do with your life? Nobody there for me. I didn't have I, I don't remember ever saying, Ma, I want these pair of shoes. I remember telling my homeboy, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them one way, somewhere or the other, I'm going to get them. So we had, to, we had to get our hustle on. We had to get our hustle on. When I moved, when I moved back down south, all this, when the dude came to my house, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak the trick. I'm like, I'm standing to the side of the door, like, oh, tell him I ain't here. So he told the girl, well, tell him she want to be a big boy, man, I'm like a big boy. I was praying. He came and, and took his shots at me. Then put the police on me. I'm like, then when I went in front of the judge, she was like, this happened the same day you got out. You know, they don't want to hear that shit.
Went back. But for how long? I went back for uh, 30 months. Okay. Almost three years. I, I EOS. I EOS. EOS me in the sentence. That means I got in so much trouble, they only going to hold me till 11.59 at night. 